This is for those who dare to stand up. For those who dare to make a difference. Get ready for battle and join the Republic of Gamers. People say legends are born. Ready to go the distance and naturally fearless. The truth is, legends are not born. They are made through sheer determination and grit. Would you dare to stand up for yourself? To tell the world your story? Would you dare to fight for your vision and make a difference? Would you dare to claim greatness and believe in the impossible? This is for those who dare. Dare to be different. Dare to be defiant. Dare to be a legend. Join the Republic. Good evening to those who dare. And to those of you who don't, I think you might be in the wrong place, sorry to say. Who's excited here for what the Republic of Gamers have in store for you tonight? It's Republic of Gamers, not Republic of Lamers. I need some more energy, guys. Come on. ROG has a great show tonight. Who's excited? Let's get this started. My name is Danny Kim, and I'll be your host for this evening. And we're going to see an amazing new portfolio from ROG. Some of the stuff is going to absolutely blow you away. I mean, this is what the guys from ROG have told me. And I have so much faith that I will personally guarantee that you get blown away tonight or I'll give you back your full ticket price. But the tickets were free, right? Yeah, all right. Now, with nothing further to say, it's an absolute honor to introduce the man to this stage with whom without none of this would be possible at all. The man himself, ASUS Chairman, Mr. Johnny Shee! Good evening! <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. This is a celebration of those who dare to be different, who dare to challenge the status quo, who dare to say, I deserve nothing but the best of this world with every game. Twelve years ago, ROG was founded on this very determination to create an entire lineup of powerful and beautiful gears that are designed to help you win. Every win with the ROG is the victory of countless battles among engineers, designers, and professional gamers who fought to hold their grounds and give you the best of their expertise. With nearly three decades of superior engineering under our belt, we handpicked the most advanced technologies in PC, components, thermal, panel, audio, router, mobile, and illumination into an essence called ROG. We take pride in being a leader in this community 
and supporting every aspiration among all of us. We listen to the voices of influencers and individuals and transpire their passion and persistence into gaming reality. We fight for those who dare with the latest and greatest of algae. Without further delay, let's get the party started. Thank you. Thank you very much, Johnny. I think we need to give a round of his applause to his leather jacket as well, right? That thing, Johnny, mate. This is why all the ROG products look so good. The man's got style. Now, as he said, let's get this party started. And uh, no better man than this man here to my right. He's got so much style, he actually spells his name Chris with the letter K. Here to uh, kick things off tonight is the head of product at ROG, Mr. Chris Wong. Hello, everyone. Good evening. We started ROG since 12 years ago, and since day one, we have committed to produce the most innovative PC hardware to enable the ultimate computing experience for gamers and enthusiasts. And this has never changed. And we're not doing this for the gaming hype. We create ROG products, it's because that's what we love to do. We believe we can change the status quo by taking ROG experience even deeper and enter more product categories. And we believe we can reform the industry. So today, the first product I want to introduce to you is a brand new product category, the ROG AIO liquid cooler. And you may be wondering why we want to step in this new product category, or you just think we will do everything. No way, right? The AIO cooler has its better CPU uh, cooling and also better aesthetic. But the downside is it didn't generate any airflow near the CPU area. So sometimes the CPU overclocking may be capped by the VRM temperature. And we want to resolve this situation and make an even better looking AIO cooler. So here it is. It's amazing, isn't it? The products are called Lugene and Duo. Yes, you heard it right, Lugene and Duo. And Lugene is a Japanese name. It means dragon god, and who control the power of the ocean. Or let me explain this way. If you play Overwatch, you must have heard the hero called Genji, right? So when Genji strikes his ultimate move, he will be yelling, Ryuji no ke kure! Yeah, that Ryuji and this Ryuji, they are the same word. So Ryuji comes with 360 and 240 millimeter radiator size. And it's the first AIO cooler that features OLED panel for system information such as CPU temperature, frequency, voltage, as well as the custom animations. And if you look at this comparison, you will understand the embedded fan actually helps a lot on the MOSFET and M.2 SSD thermal dissipation, and which result in a better CPU overclocking and better SSD performance. And radiator side, we team up with the quality Noctua fan to deliver the overall cooler and quieter performance. 
And you all is our entry segment. Here I call it entry, but it's still more premium than others' high-end products. And you all means Dragon King, and it comes with 240 and 120 millimeter radiator size, and it features the same quality OLED panel. And the NCV and coated pump cover and the RGB ring at the button to enable the Aura Sync, which makes it a really, really sexy product. And the next one is also a brand new product line, the ROG Power Supply. We create power supply to expand our ecosystems. So gamers who want to build their dream machine, when they put all the ROG components together, they can work seamlessly to deliver the true ROG experience. ROG Thor 1200 watt platinum, it's called Thor. You know, you're a Marvel fan, right? You know what Thor means. But what actually makes it stand out from other PSU is we carefully handle the thermal in the box. So this is Thor. This is other 1200 watt uh, standard PSU. So apparently, you can see Thor is much cooler than other PSU. And we also deliver a tighter power regulations, which means it's more stable on the power output when compared with others. And there is an OLED panel at the side to display the wattage meter in real time. It's very cool, right? And it's a poor Aura Sync. So it's definitely the best looking Aura Sync power supply in the industry. The next one is the router. The new Rapture. It's the world's first 10 gigabit Wi-Fi router, and it also supports the latest technology, A02.11AX. And AX is 2.5 times faster than traditional AC. And not only that, it offers lower latency, which means it's great for gaming. Think about this. If you are at home, all your devices, your laptop, your tablet, your cell phone, your IoT devices, they all connect to the routers. But the traditional router, they can only proceed one item at a time, which means we gamers, we have to compete with all the home devices first before competing with the enemies. And this is insane. But with the new Rapture, the new technology, it can handle multiple devices at the same time, at the same transmission. And it's up to four times more efficient when multiple devices are connected. We also improve the triple level game acceleration. From the device to the router, we upgrade the hardware dedicated game port from gigabit to 2.5 gigabit. We optimize the game boost algorithm, and we even add a physical button on the router. So just one click, then game boost is done. You don't need even access to the software. And the last mile, from the router to the game server, we enable the GPN, Gamer Private Network, to ensure gamers they can get the lowest latency, the lowest pings. So all we need to worry is our gaming skill. And I hope you enjoy the first three product line I just introduced. And we still have a lot more excitement to share with you tonight. So thank you very much.
Please welcome to the stage, Global Marketing Director for the Republic of Gamers, Mr. Derek Yu. Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Derek Yu. So, as you can see from the video, over the course of a year, we travel the world from trade shows like this, Computex, IFA, CES, to LAN parties all over the place with our community. And of course, in the recent years, we have stepped up our involvement in, en in enabling esports through various ways by sponsoring tournaments, teams and players. Last year at Computex, we even created a product line specific to esport needs in ROG Strix. And this is a segment where we bring the features that are essential to esport to the fans of esport. And this year, we're introducing the new generation of ROG Strix. We have Strix Scar 2 for the FPS gamers, and we have the Strix Hero 2 for the mobile gamers. And for this, we have a little video. Let's roll the video. It's exciting to share new products. So last year, when we had the um, original um, eSport lineup, we have fitted 120 hertz panel towards uh, the Strix series. And this year, we're updating that tournament spec to a world-exclusive 144 hertz panel with three milliseconds in response time. Now, the reason why 144 hertz with three milliseconds it's important for eSport because I'll just say this right out. The higher refresh rate will give you smooth graphics with more frames, but if you don't have response time that's fast enough, all you're going to have is just a lot of frames with blurry pictures in it. All right. So what you'll see over here, what we just played on here, these are real recordings of games with high-speed camera then play back in 30 frames per second. So this slow motion video demonstrates how fast the response time provides more distinctive and clear image. Now, this kind of performance is especially important for fast-paced games like Counter-Strike and PUBG. So over here, allow me to introduce to you our good friend, the captain of uh, PUBG team in an IP. Let's welcome the special guest. This talented young man actually got his alias from SpongeBob SquarePants. Please welcome captain of NIP PUBG Squad, Drew Sweater Miser. All right, Sweater. Thanks for coming. Thank and uh, instead of coming from me, let's hear something from the pros. Uh, what do you look for exactly in, you know, in, in the hardware that's going to help you guys do whatever you guys do right here? Um, you look for a lot in hardware, but I want to specifically talk about monitors. Um, so I first aspired to be a professional gamer, playing Call of Duty in middle school, throughout high school, majority of high school. And I played, unfortunately, on a 60 hertz monitor, not really knowing um, that I should probably upgrade it to 144 hertz as soon as possible. Um, so upon retiring from Call of Duty and moving on into H1Z1 for Cloud9, as well as NIP for PUBG, I had the privilege of upgrading my 60 hertz monitor to a 144 hertz monitor. And the difference was absolutely night and day. Um, I'm never going back to 60 hertz. And the only thing I could do is potentially go forward to 240 hertz, and so on and so forth. Um, so right here, I play a sporadic, pretty hectic play style. Right. Um, and I could only really do this, specifically not on a 60 hertz, more so on 144, 240 hertz. Um, and it allows me to play sporadically, find my targets, and win gunfights consistently and help to support my team in general. So thank you, Asus. And specifically, when I did get, move on to 144 hertz monitor, it was an Asus monitor. So again, right. thank you. I appreciate <laughs> so, you guys. All right, thanks a lot, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of insane. That's the, the thing that 
I think, I hope I can do once I move up to the 144 hertz with three millisecond. So besides focusing for the professionals, we actually have gone to have multiple different researchers and surveys with all kinds of different gamers. And one thing that we found out is as the gamers purchase laptops for gaming, even though we keep the LAN port in this segment, but eventually, in the end of the day, they still use Wi-Fi a lot. Right? So that finding gave us the motivation to keep on innovating in this area. And that's how we come up with the Range Boost te technology. So inside the new Strix series, we're opting not just with two antennas, but where we have cramped in four antenna into this laptop. And the end result is we can really, really uh, deliver significant improvements in Wi-Fi performance. So again, what you're seeing over here, just like the previous demos, these are not, we're not talking about theoretical values. These are real-world scenarios. We place a new streak side by side with a competitor model. And as a gamer, the improvement that you are seeking in Wi-Fi is that when you're playing a game, you want the ping time to be lower and to have it in a consistent manner with the game server. And as you can see throughout the session of a Counter-Strike game, we actually can achieve five times better than our competition in terms of ping time. And of course, uh, as Chris mentioned earlier, we've had our signature Aura Sync technology. It started with motherboards, and as our portfolio grew, right now, of course, we have the Aura Sync available for the system products. And we have a little video, so let's roll the clip. Aura shines brighter than ever before with Strix Scar 2, the ROG logo on the lid, the front light bar, the transparent WASD keycaps, and semi-transparent key sides glow to show off your own unique style. Aura Core is an intuitive control panel that puts a spectrum of brilliant colors and seven preset lighting modes within easy reach. You can activate Aura Sync via Aura Core as well. Aura Sync technology gives your entire gaming setup a consistent look and feel. Match the colors of Strix Scar 2 with Aura Sync supporting gaming gear via the Aura control panel. Dim the lights and watch Aura Sync take center stage. All right, so those are the, uh, the ever so fabulous Aura Sync. And um, I'm really proud to show that the Strix series now also has a vast and complete portfolio for all the eSport gamers out there. And of course, our sync will work across the segment to offer a consistent show of style. New products. So at this Computex, we're also introducing a brand new gaming headset that we're calling the ROG Delta. Now, the interesting thing about this ROG Delta is that it is the first headset in the world to feature quad DAC technology. And you heard that right, quad, that means there are four DACs within the headset. Now, the result of having four DACs is that the Delta is able to process each audio channel with its specific DAC. By doing that, we're allowing the position of the audio to maintain its integrity. Also, the, uh, the new headset is able to generate high quality of sound with signal to noise ratio up to 127 decibels. And of course, that is unheard of in the world of gaming headsets. But essentially, this kind of fidelity will enable every sound that you're in the game to be ultra clear. And of course, in terms for the gamers, you're able to now utilize all these sound clues for, to the best of your ability. The headset also boasts our sync technology. So the headset actually is typically going to be your most visible gaming device. So while it's cool to, and it's great to play well 
you want to look good doing it, and this bad boy definitely do, does the job. The ROG Delta, being a digital headset, sports a USB Type-C connector. Now, the Type-C connector on this headset allows it to have greater compatibility across platforms. So it was from PC to laptops to smartphones. Right? So this essentially allows more flexibility for anybody to enjoy this class-leading performance anytime, anywhere. So works on smartphones. And while we're talking about phones, I know this is one of the big draw to the event today. Um, so ROG actually have gotten a lot of requests over the past years, and there are a lot of there were a lot of speculations. Um, are you guys going to do a gaming phone? And this is for obvious reason that mobile gaming has been the top uh, in the top of the chart with all app categories, and the smartphone gaming is right now a fifty billion dollar industry already. So. The narrative really started back, I should say, back in 2013, which is a pivotal year, critical year for ASUS, because that's the time when we pivoted from Pathfone to Zenfone. And that's also the time when we really started continuous research into the mobile gaming area. And essentially, what we come up with is we have to have a few keys to address. Number one, still performance. Number two, interface. Number three, economics. Right. But for a long while, ROG did not take action forward. For us, if the technology is not ready, if we cannot change the game, then you know, it's, it doesn't really matter. What's the point? So here we are today, finally. The time is now. The game changer, the ROG phone. <laughs> uh, finally. So again, you're at an ROG event, being an ROG product, having excellent performance is pretty much a prerequisite. All right, so let's just get out of the way. These numbers are just the preliminary testing results from back in the lab. And already you can see that we're outperforming the leaders in smartphone industries. And so with this, you can see that there are actually still so much power from the SOC that only a product from ROG can realize and can make it available to the gamers. So with that note, please help me welcome our great partner from Qualcomm up onto the stage. Please welcome Vice President of Global Product Marketing for Qualcomm, Mr. Don McGuire. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks, Don. Well, um, I'm going to try to have the same energy as Johnny up here. Um, the man has so much energy, it's incredible. Uh, good evening to you all. Ni hao. Uh, thank you, Derek, and the entire ASUS team for welcoming Qualcomm again to another spectacular event. We're so excited to be here. Um, in case you didn't know, Qualcomm and ASUS has a deep relationship across multiple product categories. We share a passion and a commitment to innovation and delivering of amazing user experiences. And we're thrilled to expand our partnership today to include Republic of Gamers with today's exciting product announcement. There are now more than 2 billion mobile gamers around the world. And as Derek said, it's over a $50 billion industry. That's more than the entire theatrical box office revenue take in for 2017. And by 2021, that number is projected to go to over $100 billion, which makes us even more excited to contribute to this high growth category with ASUS as we give the ROG community literally a jolt, haptics joke there, sorry, <laughs> with the new ROG phone powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. 845 is our most powerful platform to date. It's designed to deliver an immersive gaming experience with epic performance, mind-blowing graphics, and exceptional power efficiency. A gaming phone particularly one that bears the Republic of Gamers brand, requires the absolute best. 
For that reason, together with ASUS, we speed bin the CPU to an unbelievable clock speed to help ensure an awesome gaming experience for all of you. It's the first phone in the world to have this feature. Really excited about that. But it takes more than just CPU alone to deliver a best-in-class mobile gaming experience. And this is where Snapdragon stands above the rest. We utilize our entire platform to maximize the role of CPU, GPU, and other subsystems like audio to deliver awesome features that make your gaming experience incredible. We also work with the biggest names in mobile gaming, such as Tencent, Vulkan, Epic, and Netmarble, to optimize the game itself. But wait, there's even more. How about gigabit gaming everywhere? Nothing's more annoying while you're trying to throw down than a poor connection either on cellular or on Wi-Fi. Industry-leading connectivity is in Qualcomm's DNA. And we brought that goodness to the ROG phone. Our Snapdragon X20 modem delivers connection speeds of up to 1.2 gigabits per second, so you can turbocharge your gaming and get a leg up on the competition. And with our 60 gigahertz 1180 Wi-Fi, you can enjoy gigabit gaming virtually everywhere. It's been an absolute pleasure and honor to be here today. I couldn't be more excited for ASUS and wish you great success with the ROG phone. Thanks again to Derek, Johnny, and the team for having Qualcomm tonight. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. So great performance. And I'm going to let you learn a little bit of um, how we achieved this. So the way to do it is through a combination of many different thermal innovations, including 3D vapor chamber. Now, if that sounds familiar, because it's because that's actually the advanced heat conducting technology that we first adopted into RG laptops a couple of years ago. And today, we're putting it into smartphones. So by adopting all these uh, fancy thermal technologies, we can, actually, we can really amp up the performance through rigorous benchmark testings. Not just once, because that's typically what you get, the prettiest number. But once you run the benchmark time and time again, now the system gets hot and the scores start to dip in. Usually, it happens around like 5 to 15 to 20%. And for our G phone, we're able to sustain ultra performance at consistent rate. But in true ROG fashion, we just have to get over the top a little bit more. And that's what you see over here. So within every ROG phone in the package, you will receive one of these special gadgets. So the aeroactive cooler, once you attach to the phone, is going to force airflow into the phone, therefore giving you even more headroom for extra performance. And again, true performance is really achieved through a combination of hardware and software. So this is the software side of things. We have something called the X mode. Now the X mode is a lot more than your typical phony RAM release icons that when you press, it releases system resource for what about 20 seconds before all the services and app can back up. With X mode, it actually tweaks and pushes the system setting for more horsepower. And it does more. So I'll give you a little story. So a couple of years, uh, no, a couple of months ago, so I was playing a lot of games. No, I'm, I was testing a lot of games. And uh, it's part of the job, right? So, um, and uh, I was having one of my best runs. So I was playing uh, asphalt at the time. And then what do you know? All of a sudden, a messenger call comes in. So what you have is it totally took over 
the interface, it took over the phone, and when I came back, nothing was the same again. So I, again, I'm not saying, you know, the set color is not important, Xu is very important, but, you know, for those of you who have run into a similar situation, you know what I'm talking about, how frustrating that can be. The Exmo actually does the job to block these interfering apps during your gameplay. So what we do over here is when you go into a game, it shields you off. But as soon as you leave the game, all the apps and services can back up the way you left it. Now onto the displays. So um, the IPS display nowadays actually already offers great quality with good colors. Right? And, but we also know that the premium devices out there they opt for AMOLED for even more brilliant color and even more higher contrast. So for ROG phone, we actually did opt for AMOLED, but we took it one step further by implementing a dedicated image processor to process HDR. And I'm not talking about you know, your, your Netflix HDR, I'm talking about gaming HDR. By doing this, we're able to fully take advantage of the high contrast properties of an AMOLED display. And another reason why we chose AMOLED is that, you know, I think it's safe to say that we know a little bit about gaming displays, ROG having some of the best gaming monitors in the world. And uh, so, Response time is of essence, just like what we mentioned in the strict segment. Without a faster response time, all you have is just going to have a lot of frames with blurry objects. AMOLED has a very fast native response time at one millisecond. So with one millisecond response time, we get rid of the, get rid of the blur, and that is when we amped up the refresh rate to 90 hertz. And 90 hertz refresh rate is the highest in any AMOLED panel in the world. So this goes to show you the differences between how the, um, the, the OLED and the liquid crystal turns as the rendering goes on. Now, besides the performance of the phone, gaming is really all about how you interact with the contents. And ROG Phone designed two air triggers by ultrasonic sensor for more intuitive gaming control. Now, here we even designed a really nice interface for the gamers to map their current on-screen control to the air triggers. So by doing this, we hope to enable gamers to be able to use this feature with a wide variety of games that they already play. So at the same time, you know, gaming is about control. Gaming is about immersiveness. And that is why ROG Phone has adopted an advanced stereo haptics into the ROG Phone. So essentially, we want the gamers to be able to experience, to feel the shock coming from the left is going to be feeling a little different than the shock coming from the right. And in trying to deliver the right experiences, we've been blessed to have a wide array of different uh, partners working with us. And one of them happened to be a company from a massive popular battle royale game, Free Fire. So we got a little clip. Let's see the video. Please welcome the Head of Business Development for Garena Free Fire Global Publishing, Andrew Manugian. All right, 
think right. so. Andrew. Thank you. All right, th uh, Derek, thank you. I wanted to say thank you. And on behalf of Free Fire and Garena, how excited I am about the possibilities of the partnership between ROG and Free Fire to bring mobile gamers the experience they deserve, mobile gamers around the world. So, as a brief introduction, Garena is a Singapore-based digital entertainment company. Um, driven by our passion for gaming, uh, we are the largest publisher of video games in the greater Southeast Asia region. So, um, that means everything from esports and publishing to community, and now, I'm proud to say, game development. So, born from this passion and our unique understanding of what gamers want to see in games came Free Fire, our first foray into game development and a global sensation. Excuse me, sorry. So, in just a few short months, Free Fire has reached the number one mobile game, number one ranked mobile game spot in over 35 countries around the world. And right now, we have over 100 million users. The video clip we played before was uh, fans coming to enjoy Free Fire at Garena World, in which we had over 230,000 Thai players come to experience the game. So, what is Free Fire? Free Fire is the ultimate way to experience the revolutionary battle royale genre in the palm of your hand. Everything from parachuting from the plane, scavenging for equipment, and skirmishing with 50 other players to see if you have what it takes to be number one, the last man standing, Free Fire is uncompromising and compact, exhilarating experience. So, the future of gaming is changing. And at the forefront of this new era of mobile games is Free Fire, designed from the ground up to give this uh, uncompromising mobile gaming experience. And like Free Fire, ROG recognizes this future. And we're working together to give gamers the, the mobile gaming experience they deserve. Playing Free Fire on the ROG phone is gonna be like nothing you've ever experienced before. And we're proud to work with ROG and dare to show the world just how awesome mobile gaming can be. I can think of no better partner, so thank you, Derek, to show the world uh, to take Free Fire to the next level and to show the world what mobile gaming can be. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. I'm really excited about the partnership and looking forward to what we can develop together. So, by now, you probably have gotten an idea of the theme of having the phone focusing on a horizontal landscape orientation. So for us, and actually not just us, for gamers everywhere, I mean, if the games that, a lot of the games that you play is in the landscape mode, why do you ever put up with an awkward cable poking up, poking out into the palm of your controlling hand? Right? So to us, that was pretty much a no-brainer as one of the um, first tasks to do with our ROG phone. And of course, once you use the, um, the Aeroactive module, it doesn't just give you an extra Type-C port on the side, it also gives you an additional headphone jack towards the side of the phone. So when you're playing it, nothing gets in your way. So when we're talking about landscape mode being important for gamers that enjoy a wide variety of different games, it is even more important for esports, right? So consider the professional players and how ergonomics plays such a dominant role in, in, in their daily activity and in their tournaments. And just like how we have a lot of friends you know, working with, um, with a lot of pro teams in Strix in designing better products, I'm glad to say that we also have good friends in the mobile sport, eSport, mobile eSport category to help us with insights with eSports and helping us design better features for the eSports crowd. So with that, please also allow me to welcome our good friend SMG to come up to the stage. Let's hear it for the official ROG Mobile eSports Partners SMG team. Hello, 
everyone, we are the SNG and I'm Crowley. Uh, last year, SNG team made the Audrey Phone project team. Audrey paid really close attention to how a professional uh, mobile sporting practice and plays in competition and how we control the game. And we are really appreciate uh, Audrey. We uh, <laughs> this product is very amazing. It's very, very, very fast. And if we can, maybe we can use this win 2008 championship again. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have to say that we're really appreciative of um, uh, the involvement with our SMG. So we actually met like over a year ago, right? Yeah, so uh, we started to exchange ideas on, you know, how to make the experience we better. We share some idea and maybe this is a product. In the is an amazing product. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, that's, that, that's the ROG way and we hope that um, we can get more uh, real insights from, from you guys. Yes, uh, it's very, very fast and very great. Yes, right. okay. <laughs> right, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Crowley. Thank you, thank you. All right, so the ROG phone is really a product that we built from the ground up to be a premium phone specifically for gamers full with unique innovations. And there's actually so much more about the phone that we just don't have time to go through. There's, there's audio, DTX, uh, headphone X, we have Aura that we didn't get to talk about, and you know, one of the things that we work with um, SMG is to have a pro dongle, an accessory that works in an eSport tournament uh, environment. So, and we don't even get to talk about some standard stuff of how the camera still is super great. But I think it's exciting for us to finally see this day coming and to be able to unveil, reveal to you the product that we're so excited about, and the product that we have worked for so long. Ladies and gentlemen, the ROG phone, right here. All right. So, you know, here in the ROG, we wanted to deliver, we seek to deliver more to the end users, to the gamers out there, so they can do more. So we prepare a little clip to show you guys what gamers can do with this brand new ROG phone. Let's roll the clip. actually more to the phone than the phone itself. In the world of gaming, there are actually still so many other different ways to play. Now, we're anticipating that the buyers and the owners of the ROG phone probably has a PC setup of their own. So obviously, when you're out and about, your phone is going to be your primary gaming device. But when you come home, when you return to a desk, we want you to be able to use your favorite input set setups to work with the phone, 
without hassle. So what we have over here, the answer is a simple dock and flick, and then you can use your favorite interface to play all kinds of mobile games on your phone. Now, while we're talking about controls and interfaces, so there will be games that are going to be better with keyboards and mouse, but then there are also genres of games that's best played with a good old stick and button. Right? So because of this, we're also proud to partner with Gamevice, who is the best at providing and, and designing physical controller interfaces for smart devices. And through our partnership with Gamevice, we're able to design and provide a controller for the ROG phone. And with this, we're able to deliver authentic gamepad experiences. Much more than that, the ROG phone comes with advanced advanced uh, wide gig technology. So what it does is now you can project the content from your phone to this wireless video recept, uh, receiving uh, receiver. And of course, this receiver connects back to your TV. Now what it does is finally you can uh, you can work. You can work with the um, the Gamevice controller. Now you can finally look up from away from the small screen and enjoy a authentic console experience with the games inside your phone. So as you can probably tell I'm a little nervous right now because um, I'm gonna show a live demo. Let's hope the demo god is with us today. That's uh. Get my fingers across. All right, so it's working. All right, so basically, as you can see right now, I'm playing the game on mobile, but it's streaming onto the big screen in real time. Typically, with the uh, wireless video, it has a latency, say, about, I don't know, like 100. 150 to 200 sometimes. But with this one, what you're looking at right now, the way that my hand is moving around and how the screen is responding, this is under 20 milliseconds. Right? So, and uh, you have to trust me on this. I'm usually better than this. This is uh, for demo purpose, so this is not my fault. All right. Exciting ways to uh, do more things with your phone. And uh, again, besides uh, playing, the, playing games on your phone with, um, with inter different interfaces, one of the more popular phenomenon happening in the gaming industry is game streaming. All right? But game streaming, as popular as it is on PC, this is pretty still primitive in the world of mobile gaming. Right? The setup is so ridiculous, it essentially defeats the purpose of having a mobile scenario. Right? So for us, we have a new idea with two screens putting together uh, as a setup. They, they told me to give this to you? Yes. Uh, so you're, I, you're not going to stream, are you? I could. <laughs> saw you playing Asphalt Man, like less than 20 milliseconds. You suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me, that's let me, that's, that's let what I call for. Let me you try and uh, do you mind if I join you? Can we? Yes. Yeah, come, so, we'll do this together. We'll do this together. We'll get more views. We might get two. Right. So I, I, it is better to get uh, inputs from a professional rather than from me. But come on. Um, you can see, see right. with the camera there. Two screens. Two screens. I know uh, that. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Global marketing director yes. Derek Hughes. That's me, what I was going to say. Just, just explain it. To you. Okay. <laughs> so two screens. We can move it around anywhere we like. Right. Obviously, the phone, yes. the screen. We've got our chat interface there. We can talk to, look, it's my mom. We can say hi. It's like, she's like the one person that watches <laughs> for me. But, uh, you know, also, you know, YouTube, 
Uh, if I want to play two games, that's right. the thing. Not that I'm capable. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Right. It's pretty awesome. That's what we designed it for. So usually the, the setup calls for a, as I understand, a phone, different camera, PC on the side. Have you tried ever trying to tape a webcam to your phone to stream? Yeah, it's, it's not a good idea. It doesn't not a good, good idea, yeah. right? It does it for you. Does it for you. That's, that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to get some more followers. Um, All right. I'm do Thank this. you. Yeah, Thanks cool. a lot, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. What a diva. All right. But um, with all due respect, yes, that's exactly what we designed it for. And you can also use it for plenty of other purposes, like you were saying. Now the gamers can use the second screen to, to play game and watch YouTube. They can, we are also working with developers to take advantage of the two screens to innovate with uh, different uh, interfaces. And believe it or not, there are actually gamers out there who, like you said, actually plays two games at the same time. So what they do is they will have one game playing on one screen, let it go, rack up some experience points and whatnot, paying attention to both games at the same time. So ROG has the most complete portfolio to cover the gamer's device ecosystem. And Last year, I believe, we've counted to about 10 categories. And today, we are announcing three more. And this year, uh, and the wide reach of our portfolio helped us to reach out to more gamers in a much more diverse fashion. But every time we introduce a, a new category, um, it really, it's really more than just the logo. It has to do with what's behind that logo, right? And a lot of times, there's a lot of pressure to live up to the name. But for ROG, we dare to keep on bringing new categories to our gamers, and we dare to still instill that drive for innovation every time we introduce something new. This about wraps up for the ROG phone. So let us take a look at the product video for the ROG phone. ROG is really made of a group of people who dares, and our products are made for those who dare. So thank you, but before we leave today, um, I would like to extend my appreciation for all the great partners uh, joining our event today. So if you will, please help me welcome back our special guest to the stage. Please welcome back ASUS Chairman Johnny Shi, Senior Product Director of ROG, Chris Wong, Ninjas in Pajamas, PUBG team captain, Drew Sweater Miser. Global product marketing of Qualcomm, Don McGuire. Head of business development, Garena Free Fire Global Publishing, Andrew Manugian. Official ROG Mobile Esports partners, SMG team, and of course, Derek Yu. Thanks, man.
Okay, guys, let's give a wonderful round of applause to our esteemed guests, who without tonight would not have made it possible. That was sweet, wasn't it? That was a really nice, cute group photo. I mean, they didn't ask me to join, but like, you know, it's only feelings, doesn't really matter. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up all we have here from the stage, but the night is not over yet. Our product demo area will be open for all you guys to experience all the products that were spoken about here firsthand. There are a lot of you, so let's try to do it in an orderly manner. And now it's the time. I must thank you for joining us. It is not possible without you guys. So a round of applause for you guys. Some wonderful products, but without you, none of this is possible. And that will be it for now. Don't forget to get your press kits from reception. And of course, we'll see you next at Gamescom. Good night. Oh. <laughs>